Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a foundation review. I know, back at it again with the foundation reviews. But this will be like sort of my last foundation for quite a while because I bought a lot of new foundations, guys. So this is the end, but I'm going to be testing out the new Huda Beauty Foundation and Primer. <laughs> I am so excited. So you guys can get this at Cult Beauty. For Singaporeans as in you guys can get it at Cult Beauty for I'm not really sure on the price but I'll have the price right here on the primer as well as a foundation like up here I have it here for you guys one of the good things I really like about Cult Beauty is that above 50 pounds you get free shipping to anywhere and it's, I think it's only to Singapore I will talk about all those like shipping colors whatever about the formula later on because I'm actually really really late for work already so I'm just gonna put on the primer and the foundation and yeah so first I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base the packaging is so slick guys I love it I love everything about it so it says it's a moisturizing moisturizing I don't know why I say it like that moisturizing makeup base so by the way, if I sound very weird and very raspy, it's because I literally just woke up probably not even half an hour ago. So I'm like psycho already. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I'm going to apply just one pump because I have heard that the primer can be a bit like weird. Like not weird, but like it feels heavy on the skin. So that's what I'm going to do. So it comes in a pump like this. So I'm just going to squeeze it out. Okay, yeah, it does feel like a moisturizer. Ooh, I love the smell. Actually, the more I'm smelling it, the more it smells like old lady. <laughs> I'm just applying it on places that I usually um get. Really? Okay, so I'm just going to let the primer set into my skin first because I realized that when I let the primer sink into my skin, it just feels better and when I put the foundation on top, it just looks better. So this is the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. I am so excited. Now, I don't know if this is my correct shade because obviously... Now, I didn't get it online. I got it from my cousin who got it in Dubai because she went to Dubai recently. So yeah, this is in the shade Tres Leche and it's in 320G and I know that G is for the warmer undertones. So yeah, comes in a pump and it feels like a plastic bottle and I was talking to my friend about it and I was like, dude, it comes in a plastic bottle and she's like, that's so convenient. Like, your bottle will never break and like, she's like, I don't understand why companies don't do that now and I'm like, right, I feel you. I know a lot of people think like it's cheap packaging, but I don't. I think it's very convenient. So I'm just gonna take just a pump first because I'm not sure. I'm just gonna squeeze it. Does my pump not work? Oh, okay. it might suit me perfectly or it might be a bit darker or just a little bit tiny lighter um, but yeah I love that the pump is black so I'm just gonna apply this on top of my face it feels very like creamy Ooh. oh this might match me like perfect oh yes girl now I heard this is like full as coverage I mean it, it literally says in it's um foundation bottle it says it's um full filter so yeah i'm gonna use my brina beauty you guys know i'm like obsessed with this currently so it absorbs Quite a bit of my foundation. Again, I said that's the problem with the Brina Beauty blender. It absorbs a lot of foundation. I think if you wore it dry, it'll be better. But yeah, let's look at it. Okay, 
it matches me perfect like perfectly the foundation is the exact same smell as the primer by the way um so my cheeks is covered is like medium no actually no you know what i think it's like almost high coverage on my cheeks and on my forehead i there's a, a few pot potchy patchy spots here I think maybe there was not enough foundation there, but I thought that was quite a bit. But so my forehead is not completely covered, but the my cheeks are very covered. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So it's like the redness is not peeping through at all. Like okay, a little bit there. Oh my chin. Oh I didn't put a, a lot on my chin, okay then. And yeah, my forehead, I didn't really get a lot of coverage from there. I'll just apply the second pump and then I'll let you guys know. I'll finish my whole entire makeup and then I'll get back. So I've applied everything on my face already. So I'm done for the day. I can go out already and left for the lips. But, um, yo. After I applied powder straight up, it was freaking filter on my face, okay? Now I have a bit of like, I can see my foundation through my brows here. I don't know why. I don't know if my foundation doesn't want to stick the heck really don't know why um but we're just gonna ignore that and yet other than that oh my god i look so good i love this foundation i have to say i can definitely see it clinging onto dry patches because i'm currently experiencing a bit of weird texture and it's kind of dry weird texture i don't know why and i can see it starting to clump on that area and I'm like ooh let's see there's a day another day it might be horrible um but other than that it's it, I don't know if it's a highlight or the blush that's emphasizing texture but it's a bit of an emphasizing texture here yes so it is 9 or 5 a.m I'll see you guys later so it is currently 8 p.m and it's the end of the day and I've had this foundation on for about almost 12 hours now and something I have to clarify and say is that this foundation transfers like a bitch. Like, I'm gonna show you this tissue that I have that I pat my face at 2 p.m. This was six hours after I had this foundation on. Now, again, I've had this foundation on for 12 hours. So, obviously, I cannot be expecting, like, oh my god, amazing ass foundation. But at the same time, it's like, oh my god, amazing ass foundation. Because I think I still look really good. I know, I know, I say that a lot in my, like, foundation reviews, but, I mean, you gotta look good, right? You can't look like a piece of shit, but anyways, so this was 2pm, and then when I pet again, there was still a lot of foundation transfer. So if you're planning to, like, hug your man, hug your mother, hug your sister, hug a baby, don't. This foundation transfers so much. So I am a little bit oily. I did not get oily as much as I thought I would. I'm really happy about that. So this is my skin after 12 hours or 11 and a half hours of me applying this foundation. I'm going to pat my skin and I will see you again. Just to say, if you guys hear a lot of noise, my nephew is outside and he's like super duper noisy. So just ignore him. Look at it. Look at my face right now. I look filter. I look like I have a filter. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Do you guys see that? You... Oh my god, you guys cannot even see my actual skin underneath. <laughs> my highlight don't. I don't know why, but my nose always. I want to say always, I mean always, look at that separation here. Literally, from here below is my nose, it's not even the foundation. I give up on my nose, eh? Nothing, nothing can make it stay matte all day. Nothing, like nothing. I am currently obsessed with this foundation. And I think the primer might have done like a lot also. So this is the foundation. This is a primer. I had one pump of the primer and then one and a half pumps of the foundation. Honestly, I could have just used one pump. But then I think because I didn't cover some places, so I had to do two pumps. Overall, for now, I will give it a 9 out of 10 because I still do get oily throughout the day. So, that's it. And also, it's not it's transferable. It, it transfers a lot. Um, this is medium to full coverage about full coverage actually more on the full coverage side it is like literally filter if you guys were to ask me where do you where should i get it i would say cult beauty because it is one of the more affordable ones don't get it from shophudabeauty.com because shipping is 
Psycho and the prices are new SD and it's marked up. I don't know why but it's ridiculously marked up. It's like 76 USD or something crazy like that and then um I don't know, it's just some crazy prices, okay, so just don't get it from there, I get it from cultbeauty.com. Now I'm going to just talk about what it says on the back of what the foundation is like. So it says high coverage cream foundation, that's very true. Effortless application, very true. Camouflages imperfections and pigmentation, soft focus, filter finish. I agree with that, like, A plus, spot on. The back is spot on I love this foundation comparing it to my Fenty Beauty which is of course like something that is totally not the same because Fenty Beauty is more of a liquid like liquid this is more like a creamy kind of foundation I'll give this foundation 8.5 out of 10 because it's really transferable like crazy crazy amount of transfer and I do get oily throughout the day um, for the primer I don't know how to feel about a primer honestly I like it but it's just like, it's like how I felt about the Fenty Beauty Primer. It takes a while for me to like something, like a primer, it takes a while. So now I decided that I'm only going to do three days because five days takes a lot of my time and I don't wear makeup every day. So it's very difficult for me to find five days in a week where I would wear makeup. This is the first day of me wearing my Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation and the Beauty Complexion Perfection pre makeup based primer let's move on to day two hey guys so today is day two of me wearing the huda beauty full filter foundation along with the huda beauty complexion perfection pre makeup based the primer basically that comes along with the foundation and guys look at my skin it looks flawless like it looks really flawless so i've had this foundation on since about 4 30 pm and it's currently 12 10 a.m. Amazing. This is this is work life, guys. I did pet my face once throughout the day, and that was because it was like really, really hot. I, I cannot explain how hot it is in my store. The lights are very blinding, and I and they use like yellow lights, so it's like even more like heat producing. It's just, it's just not it's not cute. Okay. Again, it transfers like a. Biatch. So when I was wearing this white shirt today, I was like, <gasps> I was so scared. I was like, oh my god, please don't let any other foundation stay in this outfit. And thank god, nothing did. So I'm going to pat my face because I don't want to get distracted when I edit this video. I'm very orange on camera and I don't know why. Honestly, none of this foundation has rubbed off my face, but it's only been 8 hours. So if the foundation rubs off after 8 hours, what nonsense. So it's not, so that's a really good thing. Um... It's covered my like pimples, my acne scars so well. Um, there is a little bit of like movement right above my lip, but I think it's because um, I said a lot there. I, I mentioned that way too many times, it's a bit too much now. Um, but yeah, like, yes, girl, I still look flawless. So, yeah, as of now, I am gonna give it a 9 out of 10. I know, I think my. I think day one I give it an 8 out of 10 because it transferred like a bitch. It still does. But I think I still look so freaking good after using it for like 8 hours now. You know what I'm saying? Let's just move on to day 3. Oh my god, another vlog style kind of ending of my video. But today is day 3 of me wearing this foundation. Um, and honestly, I really, really love it. As you guys can see, my eyelash is almost coming off. You guys know this. This means it's it's the end of the day. Um, I've had this foundation on since about 10, 30, no, about 10 a.m. I've had this on for since 10 a.m. and now it's currently 6 p.m. So yeah, honestly, love it. Okay, like you guys can see, it still does give me, like make me a little bit oily, but there's just very little oil, not a lot. I'm not that oily. Honestly, usually I'll get even more oily throughout the day. Sorry, I'm like looking here because I'm looking at my mirror and I'm like. I'm not that oily. I'm, it does not even claim to have mattifying finish. So honestly, it not being like completely mattifying is totally fine. It does still feel sticky at the end of the day, but that's only the end of the day. When I set it, I don't feel it at all and it looks like a nice clean canvas. I'm not even kidding. The amount of times everyone said that my skin look so good today. The amount of people that like, kept on like complimenting me like and is this foundation guys is this foundation like when i was telling my cousins they're like oh what foundation you're wearing is really nice and i was like 
I'm wearing a Huda Beauty <laughs> and they were like okay <laughs> so yes honestly guys you guys should totally get it if you want like a nice like medium honestly it's medium high it's medium high to high coverage kind of look and but just mind that it might transfer a lot and if you guys are scared of transfer you guys can just apply more powder onto your face but that's just me but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe right follow me on all my social medias so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this and i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys Mwah!